So, what's the weather like in Rapid City? Hi, I'm Tristan Neiman with Mindful Living Realty. One of the most frequently asked questions we get is, so, how's the weather up there? Being a northern state, there's lots of questions like, how cold is it? How much snow do you get? Does it even get warm in the summer? Do you live in igloos and have horse-drawn sleighs? I'm here to answer all those questions for you. Stick around to the end to find out my favorite weather stat for our area. Let's begin with the one that you're asking the most questions about. Winter. Now, whenever you've seen South Dakota on the Weather Channel, you've seen sideways blowing snow, people standing on five foot drifts. And while this does happen sometimes, it's not the whole story. What's the matter, you guys cold? It's not so much the uh, heat, it's the humidity that will kill you. Winter usually sets in about November and lasts through February. The coldest temps are in January, averaging about 35, and the warmest in November, about 47. Average snowfall in these four months is about six inches per month. But here's the thing. Thanks to the Black Hills to the West, we have banana belt weather. So while we do get the snow, usually what happens is it snows, and then the next week's it's 30s or 40s and even 50s, and the snow melts. The snow we get at the beginning of the year usually does not last through the entire winter. On those days it is 50 degrees, we run outside, leave our coats behind, pretend it's spring, and then next week we get another snow system and it starts all over again. What we have discovered is that winter is a time to be enjoyed, not endured. We've discovered the amazing views of winter hikes. We've seen ice caves. If you love snow skiing and snowboarding, Terry Peak is open for the season. And even when it's too cold to go out, we love to snuggle in, watch movies, and play games. Now, don't get me wrong here. We get snow. It gets cold. Some weeks are below zero with stupid, crazy cold wind chills. So if this is something that's a hard no for you, Rapid City might not be the place for you. Then comes March. March is this tug of war between winter and spring. Sometimes it's winter, sometimes it's spring. Many times it's multiple spring snowstorms that melt the next week with temperatures in the 50s. It's sprinter. The average temperature in March is 47 degrees, but it's also got the highest average snowfall amount of 11.6 inches. Take a look at these videos that I put together at the end of March this year to really showcase what it's like. It's March 31st, sun is shining, the birds are singing, it's 60 degrees outside, it's beautiful. It's April 1st, 30 degrees, it's snowing, and we're supposed to get eight inches tomorrow. Finally, in April and May comes spring, where the average temperatures are 55 degrees and 65 degrees. We can start to go outside without coats. I love the spring, the smells, the birds come back, the greens start coming out, the daffodils start blooming. It's an amazing time to be in the Black Hills. But don't be surprised if having snowball fights is in your spring to-do list. Check out this Mother's Day where we were making snow chairs and snowmen and had a fun time. These spring snows drop deep wet snow, which is amazing to play in, but usually they're gone the next week. June through August bring our summer months. The average temps in June are 76 and July and August are right around 85. Once summer hits, we hit the road running and enjoy all the wonderful activities in the Black Hills and the Rapid City area. What's amazing about summer in Rapid City and the Black Hills is our low humidity. Our 90 degree days don't feel like 110. And you can still open the windows at night and let in some cool air. Yes, it does get hot. There are weeks of 95 to 100 degree temperatures. You're gonna want your AC in your house and in your cars. We thought we could tough it out without AC in our house. But first week in June, my wife handed me the credit card and said, get some AC now. We love summer in the Black Hills. We are lake people. We love to go out on Pactola Lake, Angostura Lake, go kayaking, go water skiing. So many trails to go hiking, campfires, camping, so much to do in summertime in the Black Hills. September and October bring in the glorious fall months. We usually hope for a warm September to continue our lake days, but it's certainly great to open up the windows at night and really get that cool air in the house. September temperatures are perfect 74 degrees on average, and October cools down to a 60 degrees. With the changing leaves comes more great smells, leisurely walks, and scenic drives in the Black Hills. You notice I'm using the word usually a lot. South Dakota is known for its crazy weather patterns. 
Spearfish South Dakota holds the world's record for the fastest temperature change. It changed 49 degrees in two minutes after a Chinook wind came and warmed up the atmosphere. We've raked leaves on our jackets on Thanksgiving Day. In 2013, when Snowstorm Atlas came by, that was on October 3rd. We had a long winter that year. But in January 2020, it was 50 degrees. I was running around that town with my windows open. So while the weather in South Dakota is never normal, the weather patterns I described happen more often than not. Now for my favorite Rapid City weather stat. Rapid City enjoys 225 days of full or partial sunny air. That's a lot of nice sunshine that makes life a lot easier on those cold winter days and those beautiful summer mornings. Sunshine, we have lots of sunshine. So for a quick recap, snow, yes, igloos, not so much. Sunshine, lots, summer, check, four distinct seasons, you bet. If you've enjoyed this video and has provided you valuable insight in the Rapid City weather patterns, please hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Each video I pack with Rapid City information to help you make your decision on moving to Rapid City. Check out this fun video I made about winter in Rapid City and remember, love where you live.